What are the upcoming changes to the PL100 Microsoft exam? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Microsoft's PL100 exam is the second in the Power Platform exam range. So whereas the PL900 exam is all about the fundamentals, what you can do, the PL100 is where we start putting them into action. So you can see that you envision and create business solutions to simplify and automate tasks and processes. So that involves designing and managing business solutions, analyzing and visualizing data, and creating business solutions using Canvas Power Apps, model-driven Power Apps, and Power Automate flows. So what is changing as of the 19th of January, 2024? Well, let's go through the old study guide to see what is being removed. And there's quite a lot. So first of all, this design business solutions has been completely rewritten. So gone is create a high level design. Gone is design the user interface for business solution. And gone is most of design reporting and visualizations for business solutions. The only thing which has remained is the select reporting options. Now for me, this is no big deal because these are generally things that you need to know to be able to do everything else. For example, define visualizations for model-driven dashboards. Well, when you're creating a model-driven dashboard, you need to know what visualizations there are anyway. The only section which is remaining is identify Microsoft Power Platform components. And that is unaltered except for one, describe use cases for chatbots. Now, Power Virtual Agent is now being taken out of the Power Platform sphere and more into the Copilot Studio. So I suspect that's the reason it is being taken out. Virtual Agents is also being taken out of the PL200 exam as well. So what is in the Design Business Solutions place if all we have so far is identify Microsoft Power Platform components? Well, we have manage Microsoft Power Platform components during development and configure Microsoft Dataverse. There are some subtle changes to what is happening, plus a couple of additions. So we'll go through those additions when we have a look at what is new to the PL100 exam. Analyze and visualize data remains unchanged. So that is here. So you will still be creating and consuming Power BI dashboards and describing AI builder models. And the create business solutions is largely unchanged as well, except for the removal of the manage Microsoft Power Platform components. So for model driven apps, all of these items are remaining. For create and manage Canvas apps, the build Canvas app screen is being removed. And I don't know why, simply because to be able to do anything else, such as adding Canvas app assets and components, you would need to have a screen to begin with. Maybe they are taking build Canvas app screens more towards the Microsoft applied skills of Canvas apps instead. Create screens for Canvas apps, no deletions there. And when we get to create Power Automate flows, the create a desktop flow using Power Automate desktop for personal use has been removed. What's also been removed is the create Microsoft Power Virtual Agents chatbots in Microsoft Teams. So as I said, Power Virtual Agents is transitioning now towards Copilot as opposed to Power Platform. However, there still is a Power Virtual Agents chatbot in Microsoft Teams, which doesn't seem to be removed. But maybe the fact that the main Power Virtual Agents is going away from Power Platform means they want to get rid of this as well. So between the Power Automate desktop and the Microsoft Power Virtual Agents, that is two fairly big deletions from the PL100 exam. So what's being added? So if we have a look at the skills measured as of January the 19th, 2024, then we start off with Copilot. So we've got AI already with the AI builder, but Microsoft Copilot is being introduced into multiple places within the Microsoft Power Platform. 
So for example, you could create an app just saying, I want to track the weather and it would create a table with some sample data, which you can do independently using Copilot as well, and then create an app. And I've got a video on that subject on this YouTube channel. While editing Canvas apps, you can also use Copilot to do some modifications. For example, make all of the buttons blue. And it will go through hopefully every screen and change the color. Within Microsoft Power Automate, you can also use Copilot again to generate the initial flow and also to make modifications to it as well. The next new item is describe Microsoft Power Platform environments. So we're talking about things such as trial environments, sandboxes, production environments, and then describe use cases for Power Automate process mining. So this is when you go into a process which doesn't have a linear track and see, okay, sometimes we went down one particular route and then other times we went down another route and where does it loop, for instance? So in this particular map, it loops in this area. Now also new to the PL100 is importing and exporting data by using Microsoft Excel. Now, importing and exporting data used to be in the PL100, then it was removed, and now it's come back. And it's come back partly, I think, because there's a different way of doing this. So now you go into Create, and you can open up Excel here, or you can go into Tables and say, I want to upload an Excel file. Again, you can see the Copilot symbol here, and upload an Excel file also you can use Copilot while it is importing. So this is in addition to creating tables and table columns by using Copilot in Dataverse. Another thing that has been in and out of the PL100 is create and configure model-driven app charts. It is in the PL200, it used to be in the 100, it was removed, it's now come back. A fairly simple feature. Describe modern controls and themes. So if we go back into our Power app, we can go into settings and in the general tab, it used to be in upcoming features, but it's now moved. You can enable modern controls and themes. And if I do that and add a new component, you can see we now have, in addition to the classic components, a set of modern components as well. Microsoft is still generating them. So I don't think from this exam it wants you to principally use them, but to have knowledge of them instead. Determine when to use screens. So I said previously that configuring screens has disappeared, but now you still need to know when to use them. But in addition, you also need to know how to use containers as well as charts. So unlike the model-driven apps, here we are talking charts such as column charts, line charts, pie charts, and Power BI tiles. So these are the changes that have been made to the PL100 exam as of the 19th of January, 2024. So in summary, the design business solutions has been completely redesigned. There is a removal of Power Automate Desktop and Microsoft Power Virtual Agent chatbots in Microsoft Teams. And there has been an addition of Copilot, among a few other things. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then why not like it? And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. In the next video, we'll have a look at how we can create new apps by using Copilot. Please click on it on the end screen. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.